Last night, Pete's had a slip up on his stream regarding Foodie's visa status. Arturo's visa? Oh, well that, um, like she's just like hopping and hopping to another country, from what I understand. One time we hung out, she we also, you know, stopped in at my mom's and she explained to my mom that like she pops over to, uh, Saudi Arabia? But basically she just pops across the border for a couple days while her visa, uh, while her visa renews. Reaction channels caught on, and of course, Foodie got upset and came live. Hello? So, um, as you can see from the title, I would like to have a serious answer. I would like to know for real, from reaction channels that make such a big, or people who follow them. I want to know seriously, I'm not raging, I want to know on a serious con level, what gives you the right to be invasive and know my visa status? Number one question for you. Number two, how does this affect your life in any way? Number three, when did reacting become, it went from reacting to videos to being invasive in my personal life? I'd like to know that. Is she for real? Her whole content has always been her personal life. What else is there to talk about? Be happy people are keeping you relevant. On a serious level, I would like to know that in, in your next videos because there's this drama going around that Pete's apparently said some things probably not realizing that it was a big deal, you know? He probably didn't think, oh, people are gonna talk about this, like, for visa, who cares, you know? So I just wanna clear some things up. So apparently he said when I was down in Canada, I visited his mom and uh, was talking about, you know, how I would border hop. As for the border hopping, at one point, yeah. Number one, I'm not gonna talk about my visa status. I'm not gonna confirm or deny anything because literally it's no one's business. I don't know where the one up is and saying, oh yeah, we were right. Who cares even if it was true? Who cares what visa I'm on here? You can't just come here. At first, yeah, it was a tourist visa and I would border hop somewhere sometimes. Yes, of course. So what, what's your point? If it's no big deal, then why can't you clear up the confusion? People would drop interest once you unveil the mystery. And let's not forget you were the one who kept saying it's not a tourist visa over and over. Of course people are going to speculate then, especially with all the traveling that perfectly matched visa renewal deadlines. I don't know what, like, can you please tell me what the T is? You don't just come here and get a visa, it's hard. They've changed the rules a lot. You don't know what my visa status is now, even Pete's doesn't know because I haven't told him anything in a while. I used to border hop, yes. Now, I'm not telling you. For example, they've recently changed the rules where you can have a family visa here now. Like somebody, it depends on a lot of things. You have to have a certain amount of money and all this and that. Not like an unreasonable amount, but there's like criteria. Salah fits the criteria. So I'm just saying like they've changed things for family visas. I'm not saying that's what I'm doing. I'm not saying it's not what I'm doing. I'm not telling you on purpose. Like, I don't want that privacy, uh, private information to be told for people to exploit it for views because they have nothing. All right. They're literally desperate, low to the point where they have nothing else that they have to make tea out of what my visa status is in a country as if that has any true meaning to their life, like whatsoever. Gaul, please. You are so happy people are talking about your visa status now. You're hopeful that this will take attention off the crazy meltdown reaction to Mr. Snowflake from yesterday, which is why you keep bringing up the visa drama now. I don't say I lied because I purposely was vague and I would say yes, no, yes, no, on purpose. You cannot expect people to not poke holes in your stories when you sit the blatantly lying and flip-flopping. Because it's not anyone's business. I don't want to know what it is. Because again, it's my life, it's my business, not yours. The need to have all of this information about my private life is insanely invasive and insanely pathetic for content. It's no one's business. And you are actually going to say why people are, why I keep these things private? Have you seen people call, say they're going to call the Kuwait authorities? People say they're going to show up at the airport. People looking up my tickets when I'm going on a flight. People showing up. People go real life on me all the time. So I'm trying to protect myself and my privacy. I don't need people knowing all my business. Just like I don't show people my uh, marriage certificate. Like, no, 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 no. 
No, they're not pulling me out of a peaceful place, but I'm definitely addressing it. And of, of course, Kuwait authorities are going to think that these people are just Islamophobic and stupid, which they are, and probably hang up on them. Yeah, it's illegal. I mean, that's the thing. But I'm keeping it private because it's a part of my life I want to keep private. I, sh I don't even have to explain beyond that why, you know? It should just be left at that. Okay, she doesn't want to talk about it. But there's one ridiculous reaction channel who put in like a clapping sound, like a cheering sound, when they found out what I, what Pete's said. And it's like, what's your one-up? What's your one-up? That you're the most invasive reaction channel? Okay, good for you. Yeah, whenever you're on a tourist visa, if you want to come back, you have to border hop, of course. That might not be the case now, for all you know. Yeah, there's nothing. It's big nothing burger. Still don't know anything. You can Google all you want. Like I said, with our marriage, our situation wasn't on Google, so good luck. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys after. Bye.